Okay guys, so what I'm replacing that baby ceiling fan for is this guy right here. And this is a flush mount, just a square cover, glass, um, easy peasy. Got this at Menards for like, um, it's like $3.00. $3.48 or 98 cents, something like that. Real cheap, easy. Um, so, we are gonna hook this baby up. So then it will give her tons and tons more light, right? All right. Put that over there. Okay. So, so now, let me put this down just a little bit so you guys can kind of see me. Okay. So the first thing you want to start out with is the mounting bracket. Um, that's the last thing that we took off the other light, and it's going to be the first thing you're going to put on uh, for the new guy. Right? Okay. And you can see the difference see if I can hold these right these are the difference in the screws so this one came with the new kit and this is the one that was in there can you guys see that size difference yeah so we're gonna put the bigger one this one right here back in because these other little ones in the box in the ceiling it will not fit in that little hole no matter how hard you try it's not gonna fit and it's just gonna you can just pull it right out Okay, so uh, yeah, this way. Mm. Move my wires out of the way here. All right, and you can start those by hand, which is help you out in the long run because you want to you want to put them up there as quick as you can uh, just like that screwdriver might have to hold it on the screw because these ones are flat which is standard in screwdriver terminology and um, the outside ones were Phillips if, if you don't know that's the star star bit okay so you want to line that to the middle of that and then just tighten it snugly and then do the other side. My arms are getting tired. I keep missing. Okay, so we got that in. So then our next thing is to. Um, what you want to do is wire your Hmm. Okay. So it's kind of a two part. Okay, so we have the mount and then this goes on the outside of that. So I'm going to show you how you do this. This one's a little different than the other one. The other one was actually uh, screwed in. So what you want to do is you take your wires and put put through this. See how that little hole was already made? Okay, and just pull those through. And then this is going to be like a pop. You just pop it right in there, and that's how you do that. Okay. All right. Then what we're going to do is while we're waiting we're going to put these these screws here 
This is for to hold up our other um, our other little bracket. Well, mounting base is what it is. It's called. And we're gonna put one in there, and you just wanna start them. You don't really you don't really wanna put them like all the way in there because you're not really sure how far um, you need to put put them in there yet for this cover to go. Okay, so then we're going to hook up the black to black, white to white, and then your ground goes on your mounting bracket. So ground is always going to be copper, right? Copper, copper. Um, in your wire, your house wires, copper, it's not going to have any uh, sheathing or coating on them, right? Everybody know that? Not everybody does, but... All right, so we spread our white and black out of the way. Wrap our copper around, and then we're gonna wrap our housing around it. And then it's basically a standard screw. So the copper, the copper ground screw usually is coated green. If, if you guys, um, I have never done electrical before. Yeah, green means copper ground. Okay. So just a little tidbit for you. And then you just tighten that up there. Okay. And then we're going to put our black to black and white to white. Right? Simple. And then use our electrical nuts and that these are actually called insulators. Yeah, insulators for people who don't know. White to white, black to black. And what these insulators do, it keeps you from having to um, use black electrical tape. It's a quick, simple connect, basically. And then what you do is you just bend those carefully so your nuts don't come off and push it back up in the hole. Make sure your wires are all out of the way. <coughs> and then you want to start putting your housing on. Yeah, and some of that insulation might get in the way. As you can see, it's popping through the, uh, through the other thing. Oh, that's not even the hole that I need to be in. It's this one. Is that one going to work? We just have to find which holes, oh, the screw came out, are going to work for us. <coughs> right? And I'm going to go to the inside one here. Do that one and this other one, like this right there. Okay? And then all you do is get that insulation all the way. Is just turn it a little bit. And then just tighten them down. So it's not like overly tight. You don't want to tighten it so much to where you're actually bending the housing. Just nice and flush to the ceiling. Yep. Just nice and flush. want to do is put your plate on. It's real simple. What do you guys think? I think you guys could probably do this, right? It's not, it's not terribly hard. The hardest part is really taking the old fixture off. Yeah. See? It's a little glass outside decorative. Really nice. Really nice. Yep. 
And once again, this outside is different than the other fan. And I'm just going to drop those right in my plate so I don't lose them. Okay. So one goes on the inside. Is that tight? Yeah, it's good enough. One goes on the inside. And then there's like a decorative nut to hold that plate. And you don't want to over tighten it, otherwise you'll um, break this glass. Just like that. And light bulbs. We're going to put two 60 watt, 60 watt LED bulbs in there. Should give her plenty of light to do her craft stuff, so, right? Ho hopefully. So, one on that side. Let's see. I probably should have put these in there first, but of course I did. gonna try that okay let's go turn the power on and see what we got business huh looks pretty good and that is so much more light than that check this out <laughs> gotta see this little thing <clears throat> so this is what was in there look at that little bitty thing so this is a 7.5 watt I was like are you kidding me you can't see anything with this little thing yeah see it's like a chandelier top Crazy. Why would you put something that small in your house? 7.5 watt. Get out of here. Alright guys, so another video. What do you think? Subscribe and like. Okay? Thanks for watching.